Good morning, everyone. So today uh, I will just tell you about the ATCOM module 3.4. Okay. So we all know that we have ATCOM module which runs longitudinally from phase one MBBS to phase uh, three part two MBBS. Okay. And now forensic medicine comes under phase three part one. And under phase three part one, there are total five module. And as per 2023 uh, GMA uh, regulations and guidelines, uh, this uh, um, module which comes under forensic medicine is 3.4 module. And in that module, the case scenario is like this, that a person who uh, uh, has been detected HIV positive, he is also uh, his sputum is also positive for acid fast bacilli but main issue is uh, uh, HIV positive okay and he discloses to the doctor that uh, in the past uh, he had uh, multiple sexual partners like that uh, and doctor tells this person to bring his wife so that uh, the status can be disclosed and he requests the doctor ki, please don't do that because by that way her wife will leave him and he will be left alone and he cannot live without his wife. So this is a scenario in ATCOM module 3.4. So the main issue is that the confidential information which the doctor has come to know before because of his medical practice that this person is HIV positive. Can this information be disclosed? Okay. So first of all, we will tell you one term which is called privileged communication. Privileged communication uh, means uh, when the confidential information can be breached but to a proper authority after following the proper procedure and protocols. So that is privileged communication. And uh, uh, when there is a significant risk that uh, there is a chances uh, that the infection can be transmitted to the other partner. But before that, he must counsel that person that he himself or herself should tell his status. But if the doctor is sure that or he is of firm belief that this person will not tell the uh, status to his or her partner and there is substantial risk of transmission of the infection. So doctor will disclose his in intention to that person that he is going to disclose to his or her partner okay but this disclosure has to be done in person and after counseling so in person means physically after calling that person it cannot be on phone call or by messaging on whatsapp or by email it has to be in person that this information has to be disclosed okay but again there is one point here uh, is given uh, if that uh, uh, the person who has been detected HIV is a woman and the disclosure is to be done to the husband of that woman or partner of that woman and there are chances that this disclosure may result in violence in their home or it may result in abandoning of that woman or the care of her and her children or her relative may be compromised after this disclosure so doctor may not disclose it okay uh, all this thing is given in our uh, act of our country that is HIV and AIDS Prevention and Control Act 2017. So this 2017 act is there which was uh, uh, notified under Ministry of Law and Justice in 2017. All these things are mentioned in section 8 and section 9 of that act that when the HIV status can be disclosed to the partner or to the proper authority. Uh, in that act only, there are certain other circumstances are given when this uh, information can be disclosed. Like uh, if it is just for statistical uh, collection of data and it is asked by the proper authority and when doctor is of firm belief that identity of the person shall not be disclosed and it's only for statistical purpose, then such information can be disclosed. And if the information is asked by the central government or the state government like state uh, AIDS control societies okay, which, are, uh, which are basically dealing with the monitoring, evaluation and supervision of this program, so information can be given to that. And even 
information can be provided by one healthcare provider to another healthcare provider uh, uh, if that healthcare provider is involved in the care treatment and counseling of that patient and one healthcare provider is of firm belief that this disclosure is required for proper care treatment and counseling of the hiv positive patient so information can be disclosed so this was all about the disclosure of hiv status to the partner or to any other authority okay and this comes under our clause 3.4 which deals with the confidentiality and uh, all this thing is given in our act of our country that is hiv and aids prevention and control act 2017 thank you